Hey there again. It's Kent, and I'm building the light ship for sale, which is going to be a tiny house on wheels. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the basics of working with SIPs, okay? Here's a piece of material, just as a demonstration, that I cut from the wheel well in my north uh, wall, okay? And uh, you remember this tool? It's a branding iron, otherwise known as a hot knife. And I've plowed a channel in the edge of the SIPs panel. Uh, and I'm going to put some sealant in that uh, channel. Two beads, one along, one skin, and another along the other. They're going to be, I don't know, quarter inch around, enough to really make a bead, but not so much that it's going to go everywhere. I put it in a little way so that, and I'm using a dripless uh, industrial strength caulking gun. Put them in a little way so it doesn't, you know, come out on the edges. So just a sample piece of two by four. And we want that to be pretty darn flush across there because the skins are going to be in bearing when they sit on something. So I'm going to use a pneumatic roofing gun to nail my perimeter pieces. I'm using about every six inches on center. So that's, that's the basic premise right there, that each edge and perimeter of every opening in a SIPS panel has to be filled with nominal dimensional lumber. And in this case, most of it's going to be two by fours. So that's the basics of working with SIPS panels. And this is Kent signing off.